What's up everybody, Zach here with Soya Quilting. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple Chinese puzzle quilt. Let's get started. To make a single block for this, you're going to need the following cuts of fabric. Right here I have some squares that I've cut down to 8 and 3 quarter inches. I have two squares of my background fabric, and then a square of each of my main colors. Next, I've got two squares of background fabric cut to four and a quarter inches, and then again, one of each of my main colors. And lastly, you're going to need a square of each of your main colors cut to three and seven eighths inches. Next, I'm going to take my eight and three quarter inch squares, and I'm going to take my main color and lay the background fabric on top of it, right sides together. Just line those up. The same thing with the other one. Next, you'll mark a line going on both diagonals of each square. Once you have those marked up, go ahead and sew down both sides of each of those lines using a quarter inch seam. With that sewn together, the next thing you're going to do is mark a line going horizontally and vertically in the center of your fabric. With those marked, the next step is to cut this thing apart on all four of those lines. That will then give you eight half square triangles in each color. Next step is to go ahead and iron these all out flat. Next I'm going to take my four and a quarter inch squares. I'm going to lay them out and put my background fabric on top of my main, my main fabric with the right sides together. Next, you need to mark the diagonal on each of these squares, and then sew on both sides of the line, and then cut it and press it. you have these cut out into your half square triangles, you need to cut these one more time prior to pressing. I'm just going to lay them out just like this, and then cut them from point to point just like this. There you are. Then with that done, you can go ahead and press everything out. Next, I'm going to take my 3 and 7 8 inch squares. I'm going to lay them right sides together. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut on the diagonal and make triangles out of these. Now that I have these triangles cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and then one of these ones we've sewn up to the same color. And I'm going to lay them down right sides together. Just like that and then sew them together. I'm going to do that with all four of these. Now go ahead and take your other two 3 and 7 eighths inch squares and lay them right sides together. And you're going to mark that on a diagonal and then sew it on both sides of the line. Now go ahead and cut on the diagonal and then press that open.
Now go ahead and take all your pieces and square them up to three and a half inches. Now you have all of those squared up, the next step is to lay everything out as shown in the pattern which is in the description below. Then go ahead and take all these pieces and just sew them together. Now that I've got that piece together, I'm going to go ahead and square it up to 12 inches. With that squared up, our quilt block is finished. Now, go ahead and do this 11 more times and that will give you a lap size quilt like the one behind me. There is a link for this pattern as well as a kit in the description below. Please check that out. I'm Zach, take care of Silica Pro, and we'll see you next week here at Sayah Quilting.